In the early days of Ringway Manchester, I spent quite a lot of time buying and reviewing the latest Bofeng two-way radio models. So today I thought we'd go back to basics and look at the new Bofeng BF-X3+. This is a tri-band radio that's been recently released and whilst the 220MHz band may appeal to American and Canadian radio amateurs, it's really of no use to us here in the UK. Or is it? This radio transmits and receives between 220 and 260 MHz FM. 220 to 225 is allocated in the US and Canada as the 1.25 meter amateur band and 225 to 399.95 is designated to military air band and is AM. So transmission between 220 and 260 MHz in the rest of the world could land you in hot water. However, we can utilise this band in the UK and Europe to listen to something quite interesting, Brazilian satcom pirates. In the late 1990s, rumours were circulating that it was possible to hack into American military satellites and use them for wide area communication. The satellites, originally part of the fleet satcom network, use basic FM modulation and have uplinks around 300 MHz and downlinks around 260 MHz. It became apparent that tuning into these downlinks enabled you to hear illegal pirates, from Brazil in particular, who were using these US military satellites for use for wide area communications. Fleet SATCOM uses geostationary satellites, so unlike the International Space Station, there is no pass. You're either in the satellite's footprint or you're not. But let's come back to that later in the video. This IP67 rated transceiver packs quite a lot of punch compared to many standard Bofeng models. It's tri-band, so covers a frequency range of 136 to 174 MHz VHF, 220 to 260 MHz VHF, and 400 to 480 MHz UHF. It has an advertised output power of 10 watts, which we will test later in the video. I've reviewed other 8 and 10 watt models, and they have been pretty accurate. However, we won't know until we put it on the meter. It comes with a battery pack, battery charger, belt clip and tri-band antenna which is more likely to be better suited as a dual bander. I decided to replace mine with the rubberscopic antenna by Phil G3 YPQ and there's a video link and purchase link in the description below for this antenna which is ideal for all three bands because it's telescopic. The layout is in keeping with most other Bofengs both internally and externally so if you use Bofeng radios you won't have any issues. On the left are the two function buttons and PTT. The function buttons toggle things like flashlight, FM radio, monitor function and emergency alarm and the PTT is rubberized unlike some of the other Bofeng models out there. On the front is the keypad and function buttons and just above that is the all familiar classic Bofeng screen. Now don't be fooled by the digital mobile radio lettering on the front. This is not a DMR, DPMR or any other digital mode radio. On the top is the on, off and volume knob, flashlight and SMA antenna socket. And on the right hand side is the speaker mic and programming cable jack. The belt clip slides onto the battery and the battery then clips in place on the back of the radio. Programming software is available and it takes the standard Kenwood type cable. And the radio is also programmable in Chirp as a UV82-3. Now, the radio is advertised as IP67 rated. The Bofengs I have with this feature usually have the Motorola type data jack on the side, as opposed to the standard plug jacks. Although these are covered with a tight fitting rubber cover, I'm not sure I'd want to test the IP67 rating on this model. IP67 implies that the radio is 100% protected against solid objects like dust and sand and it has been tested to work for at least 30 minutes while under 15 centimeters to 1 meter of water. But I'm not quite convinced. After all, it is a $30 radio. The menu options are identical to all other Bofeng models, so we won't go into any great detail, but what we will do is head out and see if we can make a couple of contacts on the air and most importantly, receive some of those Brazilian satcom pirates. My location today, as always, will be Idle Hill in Wernerthlow Country Park. It's the home of the old wireless station and has a great takeoff over Cheshire, Greater Manchester, North Wales and parts of Lancashire. 
Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on two metres, M3 HHY, Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee calling CQ on two. Standing by for any calls, Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. Yeah Lewis, there's not, not an awful lot of difference there, it's still, uh, still a good strong signal and uh, a pretty perfect audio mate. Yeah, okay. I'm on the Bofeng BF X3 Plus. It's a new, uh, new handset that's that's just come out, um, which I've picked up. So yeah, you're sounding still sounding good on this one anyway, uh, as you'd expect. But yeah, I'm glad glad the audio sounding uh, sounding nice. Yeah, it's fine, no problem. I'm only on five watts, so Lewis. So if you if you need it anymore, I could put a bit more on. But yeah, uh, most of the time for local stuff, I, I just stay on five watts. I can't see the point of pumping it up for the sake of it. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, no, sounding no problem at all. What sort of cost are you looking for something like that? Um, from what I've seen, it's around sort of $30 on some of the um, the uh, auction sites. So um, it's, it's it's pretty cheap. It's a, it's a tri-bander. Um, it's obviously 2 and 70, but it's it's got 220 megs, 220 up to 260, uh, which obviously you can't transmit on here, but it, it's handy for listening to the Brazilian Pirates. You know, the SATCOM pirates. Right, yeah, yeah, this has got 220 as well, this little FT300. So, yeah, I'll input $30 back. It's, uh, it's, it's bottle of wine money, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it's really, really cheap. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it, actually. It's, uh, it's like waterproof and dustproof and stuff. It's, it's quite, quite rugged and, and that. So, I'm just going to put it through its paces over the, sort of the next uh, few weeks and see how we get on with it. But, yeah, for that, for that price, it's, it's nothing really. Uh, the, the other radio I was using was um, a little bit more expensive, but like you say, there's uh, there's no difference between the two. Um, you know, just when you you're testing voice to voice um, from uh, like we are now. Back to you. Yeah, it works a treat, mate. No problem there. Yeah, it just goes to show that how these uh, Chinese guys have come on in leaps and bounds. When you've got to pay, you know, hundreds of pounds for a similar Yaesu or something, it would cost you. Although you're getting better quality, but would cost you considerably more. But for uh, if you've only got a short budget, then it's grand, isn't it? Yeah, no, no problem at all there, mate. Uh, just a quick question: uh, Have you uh, have you considered uh, moving along in the lights and stakes, or are you quite happy with your M3? M3 HHY mobile returning. Yeah, for the moment, I'm 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 all right. A lot of people ask me, but for for the amount I'm actually on the air and the amount I actually do with radio, you know, the M3 it, it serves its purpose. And like I say, I, I run five to ten watts. Um, I don't really do HF, so I should. I know I should. I should progress. I should progress and um, get you know get the two E zero and the M zero and stuff. But I've just not uh, not got around to it. Not got a uh, a massive need to uh, as of yet. That may that may change in the future, Chris. But yeah, just happy uh, happy with what I'm uh, what I've got now. Uh, back to you from M three H H Y Mobile. Two is zero, KJC returning. Oh, understood, Lewis. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. The, the only thing I hate about the two is zero is the call sign. <laughs> I do a lot of Morse and uh, bits of SSP, and uh, it's a horrible call sign. But it's, it, it, you can't do anything. I did ask for something else, but they won't let me have it. Anything else? I had to have a two is zero. But, uh, okay, mate. I shall leave you to it uh, and see if you can uh, work anybody else, uh, uh, Lewis. Back to you. Yep, yeah, okay Chris, no worries. Well um cheers for coming back to the call anyway. It's good to good to catch you again for like I say it's probably been probably been a good twelve months now, but Alright Chris, have a good day. Catch you again, seven three, M three H H Y unless called going back to S twenty. M zero N S I Yeah, M zero is it N S I or N F I? It always sounds like an S. It's uh, November Sierra India. Just trying a little mini beam. I've just been on the roof and uh, timing that as, uh, as the other chat went and you went. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's Brian and just uh, I'm in Staley Bridge, over. Yep, no worries, Brian. M3HHY Mobile. Name's Lewis this side, just at Werneth Low. So, um, there's there's not a lot between us, really. But you're sounding really good. Uh, nice, strong audio. Nice, uh, really strong signal up to uh, up to Werneth Low. I haven't got a signal meter, a proper signal meter on this radio, but you're five nine plus, uh, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Brian, back to you. Yeah, sorry about that. I was uh, just checking the antenna. That's all. Yeah, it's, um, no, you're just over the other side from me, aren't you? But um, yeah, you, you, you're a good strong signal anyway, no problem at all. I'm just on the seven oh five, so I'm only running five watts. But uh, I had a bit of an issue um, with the uh, connector, so I thought I'd... Uh, I'm just checking it for directivity, to be truthful. And, yeah, it, it does work, so it's, it must be uh, back up and running. SWR seems OK, so, uh, 
Jobs, uh, jobs are good and all right then no worries I'll let you work a few more um, uh, M3 HHY mobile M0 NSI M zero NSI M three H H Y mobile. Okay, Brian, good to uh, good to hear it's all working anyway, and nice to get you in the log for the first time. Seven three for now. Have a good one, and we'll catch you again. M three H H Y. Any other stations on frequency? Okay, so as you can see, the radio is working really well with good signal reports and good audio reports. So the last thing I did was put it on the meter, and I'm going to show you now on the screen what the output power results are. So a really nice radio from Bofeng all in all, it's a 5 watt model not 10 watts but for that price you can't ask for any more, plus the battery will last much longer. It's also a great way to start hunting out those Brazilian satcom pirates in 250MHz and let me just remind you that it is illegal to use this band to transmit anywhere outside of the USA and Canada.